morning or whatever it is where you're joining me from. But I was just coming today with a grocery haul because it was time for me to go get some stuff so that I'll have some things to pick through for the next couple of weeks. I personally don't love going to the grocery store all the time and ever since I have kind of transitioned into the carnivore ketovore. I don't really find myself going to the grocery store except for if my husband goes, I will have him grab things like maybe a pack of bacon or some soup while I'm, well, broth is what I mean by soup. Um, but other than that, I like to buy in bulk and then kind of pick through it and then not have to go for a couple of weeks. It's just more convenient for my life that way and I just prefer doing things that way. Um, so today I went to Earth Fair and Aldi. Those were the two grocery stores that I went to today. But I also went to a farm that is local to Western North Carolina. It's called Hickory Nut Gap Farm. And I will be reviewing some of their stuff today. I really like that they are local. They're pasture raised, grass fed, um, no added hormones, and they seem to really care about their animals and they seem to care about how it's butchered and how it's sold. Um, I really enjoyed talking to one of the guys that worked up there today. They also do from nose to tail butchery, which I really like that because you can also get things like beef heart, beef liver. Uh, he was talking to me about oxtail. I don't know about that, but I heard that oxtail soup is really good. I don't know if I could cook it in a way that would make it dignified. But I might try some of their liver the next time that I'm up there. Uh, they didn't have any heart or any brain, tongue, nothing like that in stock today. But I am interested in making some tongue sometime. So the next time, hopefully, they'll have some of that and then we can do a review on that. So let's get started. So I guess the first thing that we're going to review and go over is the Hickory Nut Gap Farm. So they are a local farm, like I said, here to Western North Carolina. They're located in Fairview, North Carolina. It does look like they're open Wednesday through Sundays if you're local to the area. But like I said, they are nose to tail and they raise all of their own stuff themselves. It is pasture raised, grass fed. I figured I'd give it a try because I'm always down to support local business and to buy local small business, especially when it comes to farming, because I feel like with smaller farms, not only are you supporting small business and you're supporting the person and not a corporation, but you're also buying a product that you know was humanely raised and really taken care of. So first I got some sausages. I just got, they are pork sausages. I got the regular just bratwurst. So I got regular bratwurst to try. And if I was a drinker, I might put some beer in it. But because I'm not a drinker, I found these bratwursts that are made with Wicked Weed Brewing, which I'm pretty sure the Wicked Weed Brewing Company is also a North Carolina um, brewing company. I can look that up and we can double check that. But this one, it says that it is made with pernicious Indian Pale Ale or India Pale Ale. I guess we'll see how this is. It's just the packaging really got me. So that's why I had to try it. So we've got two things of pork sausage. The other thing that I got from there was I just got a couple of ground beef, grass fed ground beef squares. I always try to get it in the 80-20 if they have it. Um, that's anywhere I buy ground beef. The 80-20 just tastes the best. I also find that it doesn't dry out as much in cooking. Um, but ground beef is just a staple in my house anyway. I keep it all the time. It's quick to make. It's easy and it's really filling. So I got three of those squares just to add to the stack I already have in the freezer. The other thing that I got was an eye of round roast. This is one of my favorite things to just throw in the crock pot while I'm at work and then when I'm at home or by the time I get home it just falls apart and I can just put it on a plate, eat it with some whipped butter and we're good to go. Now when you squeeze it even the fat parts are nice and tender and squishy. I'm so excited about this one just because I think that the meat is really just going to be fall apart. And then the last couple of things that I got was I got two ribeyes, one with a really nice fat cut on the side of it and <clears throat> let's see this isn't quite a pound this steak isn't quite a pound 
and I bet you most of it is that nice fat. I mean, just the amount of fat and the really pretty color of the meat. You can tell that they really care about their animals and you can tell that it is grass fed. Um, I got another ribeye steak. It's not quite as big or quite as pretty, but just got another ribeye just because the amount of fat on the side sear it up really nice. It makes it crunchy. It's one of my favorites. Um, just go to. And then I got another one, which is a New York strip, which it's three fourths of a pound. It's just shy under a pound as well. Probably eat this with some bacon and call that a dinner. But that's what I got from the Hickory Nut Gap Farm. And like I said, that is local to Western North Carolina. I plan on visiting them quite a bit throughout, I guess, the time that we live here. Just because, like I said, it's local to me. It's grass fed and it's pasture raised. The people there, they, they're really nice and they seem to really care about what they put out and what they farm. And so that makes me a returning customer right there. I guess next on our list is the stuff that I got at Aldi. I don't think that people should discount stores like Aldi or anything like that because you can find some good stuff, even organic stuff, grass-fed stuff. There, you just have to look and you have to be willing to actually go in the store. Um, but what I found, first off, I guess we'll start with the cheese. found some cheese wraps. Um, they are really good just to throw in my lunchbox when I go to work. I do a cheese wrap. And I'll do maybe some pepperoni with some deli meat. I know it's not the most fabulous thing in the world, but it's something that's easy to eat because I do work. And it's easy to take in your lunchbox without it being gross or having to have a microwave or something to be able to heat it up in. So this I like to keep for that kind of stuff. So then, like, I also have cheese cubes for that reason because I like to make my own grown-up Lunchable without the crackers. I'll do either cheese slices or cheese cubes of some sort, and then some pepperoni, or like this today, I bought some salami, some uh, dry cured salami, and then just like a salami and ham little platter. And I'll put that kind of stuff in my lunchbox with the cheese, and like I said, just make it an adult Lunchable. Um, Cause then that'll keep me from buying stuff in the gas station. It's protein and it's filling and I'd like I said I can keep it in my lunch box without having to heat it up and it won't get gross in the middle of the day. So that's why I kind of lean towards deli meats and cheeses like that even though it's not the absolute best thing that I could be eating for lunch. But it's not exactly the worst thing either. Um, so that's just kind of stuff that I put in my lunch box. And then just to finish off the cheese, I just got some block cheese here. I use it for different things. Either I'll put it over burgers or add it to my eggs. It really just depends. I feel like you can never go wrong with cheese. I also think it depends on whether you're a person that's tolerant to some cheeses or not. Um, I personally don't have any problems with cheese. I know that I should probably find like a raw cheese or something that's from the local farmers. It's just this is a little bit less expensive. And here we're balling on a budget most of the time. Um, so moving on from the cheese, back to the meat. I got a square of ground lamb. I also got a square of ground pork. That's just to switch it up on the beef sometimes because I do love beef, but sometimes some flavor would be, or like different flavor would be nice. Um, so we're going to try those out. I've never had ground lamb before, but I can't suspect that it tastes any different than regular lamb, like lamb leg or the ground pork either. I'm assuming it's the, the exact same thing. It probably just cooks a little bit different. And I got some bacon. This is some apple wood, thick sliced smoked bacon. This was just for a fun treat or something different to eat with my burgers and uh, some different dinners. I always find that bacon is a good go-to side because it's salty and it kind of can break up some of the dryness or some of the beef flavor. I guess it depends on what you cook it with. I've been trying to be very minimal in my cooking uh, supplies. Like I don't want to douse it in a whole bunch of stuff. I'll use a little bit of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce and maybe some butter here and there. Um, I do use some Flavor God seasonings just because they have very minimal stuff in them. They don't have any carbs and it's really just supposed to be good. I can do a review on my Flavor God seasonings at some point in time as well. Um, and then just to follow that up, just got 
this fun bacon. It's not real thick sliced or anything, but bacon has become a staple in this house, and especially while I've been doing the carnivore. So I like to stay stocked up on bacon. Plus, I like to use the grease to, to make other things. I like the bacon grease a lot in my eggs in the morning. I have a jar of bacon grease, and I'll put the runoff in, and I find with bacon grease and butter, it just really makes your eggs like that much better. You should try it if you're into bacon grease. Um, I just started eating pork too since doing this carnivore journey so I maybe have done it a little bit overboard just because it's new to me and so it's different but I got a half pork loin so that I might throw this in the crock pot or look up how they're supposed to be made but it looked like a really good crock pot meal to me plus this whole slab of back fat is really where I was like oh I'm gonna have to grab that and we're gonna have to try this out because pork loin that I've had in the past has been really tender and just so good and fall apart if it's made correctly. So that's what I'm hoping to be able to do with this. Um, last thing, I guess in the meat wise, is I got some uncured beer bratwurst. Um, I really like German sausages and they're hard to come by when they're in the white casing like this. I don't know if this is a particular type of sausage. I'm really not educated when it comes to German sausages. All I know is that they're delicious, every single one of them usually. And I like the white ones like this. Not that the regular like red and brown looking sausage is bad. It's just something about the snap on this one. You bite into it. It's just delectable. Um, so this was my haul from Aldi. Oh, other than the whipped cream. You can judge me for the whipped cream. I don't care. I don't use it every day and I do share it with my husband, but I do like it as a coffee topper every now and again. Like I said, I don't use it every day. Typically it's like Friday, Saturday type of thing or if I'm just not having a good morning, I'll put a little swirl of whipped cream. But since it's fall time and I've really been into the fall time this year, I got some maple vanilla whipped cream and it still only has one carb in it this is not probably the best thing for you but whatever who cares it's like a squirt a couple times a week nobody cares you know it's fine then i got some heavy whipping cream because i want to make some protein sparing ice cream and heavy whipping cream is the best way to do that and any leftover i can just put in my coffee um but I think that was it for Aldi, and so let's move on to CVS and uh, Earth Fair. All right, so let's talk about the last couple places that I went, because really it was just frou-frou stuff at that point anyway, other than the Kettle and Fire bone broth, or just broth. Yeah, this is just broth. Um, I got this at Earth Fair. The Kettle and Fire, I just really like the best. Their ingredients seem to be the best. Um, everything's organic. They use sea salt. And I just, I really like their bone broth boxes and I like their broths. These are just normal broths. I've been making a lot of egg drop soup out of these recently. And so I keep these in my pantry all the time just because it's quick and it's easy to make. And if I'm having a day where I don't really feel like cooking but I need to get some protein in fast, egg drop soup every single time. Um, and then just for snacks, I've been getting pork rinds, and this brand is one that I just found. Um, but even with the flavor, we've got one carb. They don't overdo it on the seasoning, which I really like. And so they've got a couple of different flavors. They have the sea salt, the barbecue. They also have a hot and spicy and chili lime, but these two have been my favorite. And for the sea salt flavor, they're not bland. Like some of the other ones that I have tried, some of the other ones, they're sea salt ones just don't have enough salt for my liking and so they taste very bland not my favorite these are a new staple in my house absolutely love them um also got these at earth fair i do i love the ugly water for the sparkling water whenever i want something with some flavor but i don't want any of the stuff that comes with a little bit of flavor um i like the ugly water and i've been trying different Sparkling waters just to see which ones that I like but the ugly ones have been my favorite by far. They have zero calories and They also have it looks like a caffeinated one. I just found this today. It's an energy water Figure since I like caffeine and I'm always looking for different things without calories that have caffeine. I was gonna try these out 
speaking of things that have calories or no calories and caffeine, Kalani New is one of my favorite energy drinks. I usually get them at GNC, but I found these at CVS when I went to go pick up the Ugly Water. Um, let's see. I mean, they've got some carbs in them. The most they have is six carbs. It looks, out of the four flavors that I got, in the least amount, it looks like four carbs, which is not great if you're on the carnivore train because that's supposed to be zero carb. But if you're keto, I guess it's not terrible. Um, the calories aren't bad either. They range from 15 to 10 calories per can. And it's been a while since I've drank one of these, but yes. Each one of these cans also has 200 milligrams of caffeine. I don't even know. Okay, and so these have 160 milligrams of caffeine in them. Um, these are delicious. I haven't tried a flavor that I don't like yet. Personally, out of these that I've tried, well, I haven't tried these. This has been the only one that I've tried. The watermelon is delicious. Also, the rainbow candy is delicious. And the Whitney Simmons collab. I don't know if this is that one, the Breezeberry. She just took Whitney's name off of it, but that one was delicious too. So I think I'm gonna have a good time with these whenever I do want something that doesn't have quite as many calories as a cup of coffee that I make, or if I just want something quick, grab it as I go, or on my way to the gym in the morning. And then the last thing I got was just some Perrier strawberry. Once again, something for me to throw on my lunch to take to work with a little bit of flavor so that I'm not looking for something and bargaining with myself at the gas station. It's just easier to keep this kind of stuff on hand, be able to grab it and go um, and keep it in my lunch box. Um, well, that was my grocery haul for today. I feel like maybe it was a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, it's really not a lot because this is going to feed me for like three weeks, like I said, with the trip here or there to the grocery store or whatever my husband grabs stuff. Um, and that kind of stuff that you're not seeing is eggs and milk, basically. Eggs, milk, and butter. Those are probably the other things that I didn't buy today that are the only other things that I've been eating. Um, tune in next time for the next grocery haul. I do have a butcher box coming sometime, so we can go through all of that. But other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. And thank you for watching this video if you've made it this far. Also, if you could help me out and hit a like and hit the subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you.